Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I will learn about Australia. Why Australia? Well, if you've been here for a long time on my channel, you may know that when I first wanted to start Frenchtastic here on YouTube, I had two choices. The first one was to start Frenchtastic and the other one was to leave everything behind and go to Australia. I remember I planned a lot of stuff, I you know, looked at different possibilities and I was about to go there and you know, I ended up choosing Frenchtastic and then staying here and, and creating French Frenchtastic. It was a few years ago already and since then there is this thing in my heart is like, I want to know about Australia, you know. So I decided that today is the day I'm going to learn about Australia through different videos that I found on YouTube. So there's three of them that I am going to watch by myself. There is the 101 facts about Australia, which is a 30 minutes long video, so I'm going to watch it by myself. The animated history of Australia that I think is important for me to uh, watch and the geography now, uh, the Australia episode. So there is a few things that I should I still shall know before really getting into because I made a lot of research when I really wanted to come back then but I forget about everything because it was years ago. So Australia, officially the Commonwealth of Australia, I remember, yeah. Na, 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 the main of Australia continent, the island of Tasmania and numerous smaller islands. Okay, 7.6 million kilometers square, 25 million people. That's not that much. Actually, Canberra is the capital, but I feel like you say Canberra, Canberra, something like this. Okay, that's the main information I think I need to know. Let's, let's start. He's tiny? What? Oh wow, because it's too hot? What do you want to drink that when- What? What? Oh, 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 snakes. Gosh, you have that? That's nice. Oh. Ooh. Even in the water? What? Ow. Ah, oh, wow. I like it. <laughs> okay, wow. That's dangerous though. <laughs> it's milk? Snakes? That many? Really? Everywhere? How does it... Okay. Oh, whoa. That's... Wow, there's a lot of snakes. I'm not afraid of snakes. I found it great. Wait, what? Wait. Yeah, it was. I like spiders, but no, oh, that's so cute. Oh, oh, I heard it's dangerous. L lion, see, that's it. That's wow, wow, that was a great introduction <laughs> of what we can find only in Australia. Okay, Ooh, crazy people and a lot of animals. Uh huh, I like it. Hang out in the suburbs along the coasts of Queensland, New South Wales, or southern western Australia during spring, you might meet an Australian magpie. You could just be walking or biking along, minding your own business, when one of these 40 centimeter long black and white birds swoops in out of nowhere. It might even grab onto your shirt with its sharp claws and start huh? stabbing rapidly at your eyes like it's a scene from Hitchcock's The Birds. But this is not a movie. This is a real thing that really? happens in real really? life to real people, and it happens a lot. In 2017, there were more than 3,200 attacks and 520 injuries from magpies in Australia. These birds are highly territorial, and their aggressive swoops oh. are their way of defending their chicks. But less than 15% of magpies attack people, usually ones with nests close to cycling paths. Yeah. Well. Some roads in Australia are so long and boring, they have tri trivia, tri trivia signs to keep drivers alert. 
Fedigdom, keep playing Triva, it may save your life. Floral Emblem of Queensland, answer the, the Cook Town Orchid. Oh, oh, okay, okay, <laughs> I just got it. Um, Australia uses a health rating on packaged foods to ease buying healthier food. There is no substitute. Oh, okay, yeah. Zero to five health star rating. Oh, okay. We have this in France now. It's A, B, C, D, E. And honestly, it's not very accurate. <laughs> like, definitely not. So I don't know about the one in Australia, but it, it helps for sure, but. Got so hot in Adelaide, Australia, that the soap melted. <gasps> Whoa. I never experienced something like this. <laughs> like chocolates, like a few weeks ago, it was really hot here in France and the chocolate melted. <laughs> but soap, wow. It was so hot in Melbourne, Australia, the speed bump melted. Wow. For sure, the temperatures there are probably a lot. Yeah, I wonder if like you're coming from another continent and you're coming to live in Australia. How much time do you need to? How much time do you need to adapt yourself? You know, for the temperatures. Wow, I was walking in Melbourne and find an almost, uh, a, a almost invisible building. That's that's very class. I like it. It's very elegant. I think. I found a puffer fish in Australia that got arrested in the sun. <laughs> Everything is about. The hot temperature, wow. My maid found a double banana in a supermarket here in Australia. Oh, never find that. I found, what did I find? Um, like double, double strawberries. Often we find double strawberries here in the supermarket in France. This sign in Sydney warning people the sculpture isn't a real car accident. Artwork ahead. Oh, oh. <gasps> Ah yeah, oh my god, yeah. Oh, it's a... Uh, oh, vous avez des ronds-points aussi? No. En Australie, il y a des ronds-points? Nah, it doesn't feel like a... Yeah, no, it's not. Oh, yeah, it's a... It's a it's an artwork. In Australia, supermarkets sell oddly shaped produce to reduce waste. That's, that's great. That's great, honestly. Like, so many different... So many food are just throw away because it doesn't please like the, the people that you know are buying it. In the end, the same product, just the shape isn't the same, that's all. The awnings at my local airport show paper plane instructions. Awnings, what is awnings? Learning your words. Awning. Awning, okay, and in Paper plane instructions? Oh, paper plane. Oh, the fact that, oh, that's nice. Oh my God. It took me so long to understand. Building in the center of Sydney with a living exter. Oh, that's really nice. I saw a, f a picture one day of like, I think it was in Rio, in Brazil, in Brazil, uh, of a lot of, of buildings with that. And I found it very cool, very, very great. You know, like the nature has its place to in the city. Cities. This McDonald's sign in Australia is displayed as the Australian slang name. Maccas. Drive. Drive through. Oh, okay. So if I understand well, McDonald's, you say Maccas. <laughs> really? Maccas? Drive through. Oh, okay. That, that's great, you know? I feel like, like that, that's very good for. Um, if la fidelité, uh, fidelity, maybe you say. Uh, of course, people are gonna be much more like, oh, let's go to Macca's because, you know, like, it's, it's more comfortable, I guess. I don't know. Mm, that's a great advertising. Mm -hmm. A burger advertised in Newcastle, Australia. Oh, Kim Jong Yum. Ah, oh, <laughs> Why not, I guess. It was hot in Australia today, my butter melted. Oh, how, how do you, I mean, like, how do you, how do you do, like, what can you do when that stuff happens? Like, can you prevent it somehow? Like, but well, you, you better melt it? Butters aren't in the fridge? Fran took a picture of a rock that fell into, onto the road in Australia. <gasps> oh, wow. Yeah. That's, wow, everything is destroyed. Felt like there is no accident, nobody was probably on the road, so that's great. The police horses in Western Australia have flashing blue and red lights attached to their tails. 
Oh, that's nice. The only police horses I saw was in Paris. And I saw them actually a month ago when I was in Paris. It was great. It's nice. It's nice to see, you know, it's like, you know, when I was little, I watched a lot of Western, uh, Western movies with horses and cowboy hats and all. And I really loved that. And yeah, seeing that in real life is great. Well, we don't have the cowboy hat, unfortunately, in France, but this street art in Fremantle, Western Australia. Oh, wow. How, wow, okay, so you really have to be at a certain point to see this. I, I mean, yeah, I guess you can see it. It's, it's, it's nice. Okay, but you, wow, okay. What does it represent? This building in Melbourne has a face built into it. Oh, oh yeah C can we zoom in oh wow <laughs> oh that's nice okay wow we have public bikes in sydney that let you charge your phone by the sizing <gasps> they in the future <laughs> oh that's so great seriously okay yeah so you plug in here and okay wow that's future <laughs> the stripes strips in the way rock formation. Wow. How do you clean that? It's not possible. I mean, oh, maybe if you know, it's not possible. Rainbow effect in high cloud over Southern Adelaide, Australia today. <gasps> I never saw that. It's beautiful. I love rainbow. It's, it's wonderful. I'm always looking for rainbow, actually. Wow, it's pretty. Here in Australia, we have signs in our cities warning people about the magpies during their mating season. Swooping magpies. <laughs> so yeah, as I just saw the video about it. Oh, oh wow, okay. This building in Pierce, I think you say, Australia, looks like a Diane Tedder's game. Oh, oh, wow, okay, yeah. Oh, that's well done. I was, I was playing Tedder's when I was a kid. It was a long time ago. Smoke blocking the sky of Pierce. Do you say Pierce? I don't know. Sorry if I mispronounce it. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, it feels like this is the end of the world. <gasps> wow. It's terrifying. Box jellyfish warning sign at a beach in Darwin, Northern Australia. Danger. Box jellyfish can be deadly. Oh, October to May, do not enter the sea. October to May? Doesn't... October to May is summer for you, no? So you can swim on summer oh take precautions when swimming take vinegar with you to the beach children are especially at risk in the water various stings from jellyfish have been recorded in all months of the year oh wow i saw a woman being uh being touched by a jellyfish when i was eight it was in the southern france at a beach she has so many, I mean, I'm not really sure the, the same stuff, maybe less dangerous here in France, but she has like uh, purple stuff all her body. And I was like, oh my goodness, <laughs> like you're transforming into a monster. And she was very kind and very nice. She was, she was good, but she was like, kids don't go to the water. And the person was like, okay, we're gonna, you know, build castle sand and not gonna go there. But wow, ugh. In Australia, they call solo cups College caps. <laughs> oh wow, that's great. You know, unfortunately, this is something I never experienced. Uh, you know, I went to college, but here in France, we don't really, really use that kind of stuff. So, I mean, back in my time. <laughs> Golden Gate Time Unicorn, only in Australia. <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, looks yummy. Trams in the Gold Keys. Oh, in the Gold Coast. Trams in the Gold Coast, Australia have holders to put your surfboard in. <gasps> oh, wow. This is when you, you understand that you're in another world, that you're not in, in, your, in your country anymore. <laughs> no drop zone, no drone zone signs exist in Australia. Yeah, um, oh, yeah. In a lot of different countries, um, you, you, you're not allowed to have a drone. Double decker or two story, story train in Australia. <gasps> That's great. We have this too in France. Why am I comparing? I don't know. But I really love, um, you know, being on that. We can actually choose when we are booking a ticket train, a uh, train ticket. We can choose if the train has like a double decker. We can choose to be on the on the upper one. I always choose that because it's great. This skinny looking building. 
Oh, what is it doing inside of such a skinny building? Mm. That was nice. That was nice. I liked it. I liked it. Okay, that was nice. I actually took a lot more time doing like these videos than I saw, and there's a lot more videos that I wanted to. Like there is a lot more stuff that I really wanted to to see with you guys on this video, but and I've been already filming for a very long time, so I think I'm gonna stop here. But it's oh my god, it's amazing! I am a very interesting in Australia right now, and that's great! Wow. Okay, so if I have Australian subscribers watching me, please tell me your weird stuff, the, the weird stuff that you're experiencing or the weird stuff that you understand where just, you know, very Australian when you were traveling abroad. I don't know if that was English, but I guess I hope you understood me. That's nice. I'm gonna watch Geography now, the animated history of Australia and some facts about it. And if you liked it, and because I didn't do that much though, as much as I wanted to do, I could do a part two. It was nice. I liked it. It's a country I really want to travel to. One day, one day. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, I'm gonna leave so the links of the can those videos, uh, the stuff that I saw on this um, video with you guys on the description box. And that's all. It was really nice to do this video today. I hope you liked it, and I'll see you very soon for another video. Take care of yourself. Bye. Mm -hmm.